Right, today I'm um, going to show you how to um, create your first calculator and this is really an, another aspect of this tutorial is really um, getting to com you combining um, user input and user output and learning about um, a new type of variable as well um, but today yeah it just cut to chase um, we as I explained in the last tutorial, we use our import at Java, a utility to scanner. Um, so we can use our scanner or our user input thing. And then we um, created a class called public class maths, which I showed you, and um, the main string or method as before. So, first of all, we want to create a variable again, and I've called mine the same before as in the other, other tutorial. I've called it user input, and we understand how this works as well. So I just call it the same thing, let you know, I've just called it user input again. But a new aspect I want to discuss is this line here line 9 double. In our variable tutorial, I told you which, which type, which thing is a data type and which one is the variable name. Double is just another data type and it just allows us to add um, decimal places to our numbers. So that's all double means, it's just another data type and I've kind of used just these variables here, first number, second number and answer. Um, these commas basically mean, um, allow us to, when we write in the variables of the same data type, that is the same data type, if, the, if, the variable, if we have multiple variables of same variables of the same data type, we can put them on all on the same line and separate them by using commas, which basically means um, this is basically saying that um, first number is a double, second number is a double, and answer is a double as well. And we end up with a semicolon. Um, then we go down to a line we're very familiar with now is the system dot print line, and then I've um, put in enter the first number and our first number our first number contains our scanner variable and then dot next double uh, in the last tutorial I did say that it was dot um, next line uh, it, the dot next line is for string variables and uh, and this we put the dot double for dot next double for double variables and It'd be next integer from integer variables and then next float for float variables etc so basically each data type has to have its own dot next whatever data type is so yeah we know un we understand how this works as well so we've stored um, whatever the user enters for the first number into the first number variable and we've done the same for the second number variable as well um, Remember that the user input contains our scanner, which allows us to use user input. Then we jump down to line 16. Line 16 contains um, a variable again, and in this variable, it is it's, um, creating an operation. So this variable is in operation. This is basically adding the number, whatever is stored in the first number, and whatever is stored in the second number. So you had these together and then displaying it in on line 17. So this basically line 17 is saying the answer is whatever the answer was for here. So whatever I'm stored in this this um, variable, display it down here. So first number equals the second number. Um, so let's just compile it to see so you understand what exactly is going on. Let's change the desktop or change to whatever di uh, directory, folder, location, whatever, where your um, Java file is stored. I always put one of the desktop because it's good, good to get to. Java C, as usual, um, this will be different to you if you're using an IEED. Look, Java, set so compile it, let's create our class file as we know now. So it didn't know it enters our program, enter the first number. It's just a simple number, it's 5.2. And it goes, enter your second number, and our second number will be 5.2 again, which brings the answer to 
So it's then it says the answer is 10.4. As you can see, it's added these two variables together and it's created our answer here called 10.4. And thanks for watching. Hope this helps.